Okay, hello. Welcome to first episode of the Pat Moriarty Show from Indonesia. Um, I had a pretty dope day today. Um, got in yesterday. It's about 48 hours of traveling all in. Uh, 26 in a plane. Went from Newark to San Francisco to Singapore to Denpasar and then drove an hour to my Airbnb in Uluwatu, Indonesia. So I feel way better today than I did yesterday. Um, got in around four o'clock yesterday p.m. and essentially slept for like nine and a half hours. Um, and then got up this morning, worked out, went to Bamboo Fitness, which is like a super cool gym. They have this like outdoor setup um, with these weights that are made out of bamboo. And it's a little gimmicky because the weights aren't too uh, heavy. And what you can do is somewhat limited out there because um, they have like a main gym setup and then they have this like, it's called Bamboo Beach. And uh, it's like this portion of the gym with a bunch of sand and not allowed to wear shoes, which I love. And you get some su sunshine um, <clears throat> while you work out. So that was a great way to start the day. And then from there, uh, sort of ran a few errands. Um, oh, now the Airbnb is starting to get some, some ants. It's not great. Um, I'll have to deal with that. So yeah, ran a bunch of errands after that. Uh, had to buy a surfboard, which was fun. Bought a 511 Channel Islands uh, performance board. And uh, yeah, taking a nap today. It was definitely like a little bit trickier than the boards I'm used to riding. It's uh, 28 liters, which is about a liter and a half. Um, smaller than the board I usually ride. And so getting used to that is, uh, it's pretty significant, it's just harder to paddle. And catching waves, like that's a very important part of it, especially bigger waves. So I surfed Uluwatu today and there were some massive waves out there. Uh, I didn't have a good session though. I just came out very intimidated. Like I was, <laughs> I was like gripping my board. I was so nervous for the first probably hour and a half I was in the water and then I sort of settled down um honestly what settles me down when I'm surfing is when like really big sets roll through and you try and duck dive and you just take them on the head and if they like put you in the spin cycle and you're getting thrown around like that sort of gets me out of my head and I think that's something I really like about surfing is the ocean kind of just like will smack you around until you get out of your own head, which uh, I think is honestly like the the thing that troubles us, troubles me most in any sport or like endeavor is just like sort of being your own worst worst enemy in a way. Um, because once you just like sort of stop thinking and you're just reacting to what's going on, it's much uh, it's much better. You enter that flow state, and uh, you know that's what surfing is all about. Uh, so, yeah, I was out there for about three and a half hours today and got absolutely roasted. Uh, I put sunscreen on, but that didn't matter. Um, got burned real bad. As you can probably tell, I'm quite tired at the moment. Three and a half hours of surfing is, is very significant. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I was way, <laughs> I told myself I was going to do this podcast like an hour and a half before, um, that like right when I got out of the water and I was still pretty like stoked from being in the water and just being in, in Bali and whatnot. Uh, but then I had to charge the GoPro. So I charged the GoPro for like an hour and a half and now I'm like sort of dragging my feet. But the show goes on. Um, the people here are super cool. People in Bali like. Everyone I meet is super chill. Everyone's also like, seems to be doing the social media thing, which uh, is cool. So like 
I'm a bunch. I'm around a bunch of luck, like-minded people, which is important. Um, yeah. So like, there was this girl at the gym today, and she was recording herself or whatever, working out, and I was like, "Yo, that's what uh, that's what I'm trying to do." And uh, she's just like very nice girl, very chill, and it's cool to see like other people doing sort of having like. No one else that I've ran into in real life has sort of had my mindset with this whole thing. Um, but then running into people where it's like, oh, okay, this is like a real thing and I'm not not crazy for thinking I pull this off. Um, is like, it's refreshing and it's just like, I guess uh, good to keep the spirits high. Um, but yeah, that flight, like, Anyone thinking of making the flight to to Bali, I would say, coming from the U.S. is like you got to be here at least three weeks, I think, to make that flight worth it. Like that was like a scarring experience, um, <laughs> and it wasn't. It got bad, I'd say, like when I could see the finish line. So it's about a three-hour flight from Singapore to Denpasar, which is the um, which is the airport in Bali. And probably like the last hour of that flight, I was like really hurting. And then getting through <laughs> customs was just such a mess. Um, I also had some like visa trouble because I was under the impression you could do a uh, visa on arrival um, for 30 days and then extend it four times. You can only extend it once. So I'm actually only allowed to be here for 60 days. So I just booked a trip back to Singapore. Um, so I'm gonna be staying in Singapore for two nights. Uh, sort of just check out the city slash country. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. That's in two months. Um, and then also, so then I'll, I'll be staying, I'll be two months here, trip to Singapore for a weekend and then another month in Bali, and then off to Perth, which would be cool. But, I mean, early review of Bali is just 10 out of 10. People are awesome. Uh, other people in my Airbnb are some Kiwis from, from New Zealand, a bunch of, uh, or just a surfing couple. So, it's, uh, you know, cool to see, because that'd be cool find a girl who surfs um I think that could be all I have um yeah brain isn't working too well at the moment oh I'm going to uh uh shroomy night at the drifter surf cafe tonight so that should be fun uh i don't really know what to expect except for maybe some some shroomies uh i went there for breakfast this morning and they had this big wall and it said events of the week and tuesday was shroomy tuesdays so that should be fun we'll report on that next episode Yeah, more on the surfing today. So like, when I was out there, um, like those first few waves, because they were way bigger than anything I've ever been in the water for, are just so terrifying. And it's just water, and it's like it should not be terrifying. They weren't. It wasn't like hollow barrels that would like really mess you up either. It was like a pretty gentle breaking wave, but it'd just like be like two times overhead. And uh, yeah, that's just, that's just big, it's super big. And so you just get terrified. <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no other way to say it, but that's what makes surfing fun is uh, you don't really feel, you don't really face nature like that in everyday life. 
Yeah, the first wave I got really hit by too. I uh, I wouldn't say I panicked, but I like breathed. I just got a lot of water in my mouth. And when you're down there and you get water in your mouth, it can be a little scary. Cause you don't, like the wave kind of just hits you down and can keep you down there for a little bit. And so I got hit down and sort of thought I was gonna come right back up. So I like opened my mouth to get <laughs> take some air and I just opened it too quickly. And I was probably like six inches underwater. And then it like held me down further. So there was like a brief moment of like two to three seconds where I was kind of panicking. But like not a close call, I would say. I was fine. Um, oh, also, when I was coming in, the tide was just super, super strong. So the wind was sort of like blowing around uh, this hook, like Uluwatu is on essentially this cliff. And there was a westwardly wind blowing. So it was dragging me very far out or far to the left. And the beach is actually like very small where you get into the water. It's just like tiny cove that you have to get into. So if you, so I got dragged out and I couldn't beat the paddle in. So I got swept about a quarter mile down the sea. It's probably also why I got burned real bad today was because I was just out there for longer than I wanted to be. Um, the other thing too is it's so crowded. So if you're catching a wave there, you really have to be in the perfect spot and they break pretty steep. So like, <laughs> like even like initially when I was in the right spot, and a wave would, uh, like at the peak of a wave and it would start breaking, I would paddle, paddle, paddle. And then like, just look down and it's like a 15 foot drop. And I would like pull back cause I was like terrified. So but that's something as the session went on, I got over, uh, it just, you just gotta be in the water I think for A lot of hours to get used to the uh, like the steepness and the like size because it's just something I've never dealt with before uh, but all in all a good day I uh, yeah any day where oh, you make it back inside it's a good day saw a sea turtle in there so I mean, that's the best. Got the sea turtle on my arm here. Uh, I love sea turtles. So yeah, good omen. Good, good omen. All in all, great day. Um, many more to come here in Indonesia. Things are looking up. Pat Moriarty surf to the moon. Let's do this thing. See you guys.